think that was a snap keep. How lucky. A forest here for Horn, along with an Elvish Mystic and a passing of the turn. Sam's will take a draw. He does have a Plains in his hand. Now, ha-ha, a top deck Temple of Plenty. We're playing some magic here. He'll leave that card on top, pass it back Horn's way. Looks like Horn picked up a copy of Roast for his draw step. Sylvan Carey added. Into a Temple of Abandon, so it'll be time to scry. Take a look at that top card. That card's going to go to the bottom. We're going to head back Sam's way. Sam's will quickly take a draw. He knows the card that's on top. There's a Plains. This is an Elvish Mystic. Pass the turn back. You said it. They can't play Resource Light. Yep. I mean, this is three mana in play. We know Whisper Wood Elemental's in his hand. This is, uh, I mean, Mulligans three are always bad, but uh, Sam's at least has a, a shot this game, you feel like. A lot can go wrong. Steven just has some big follow-up play here, or if, if Phil's mana creature gets killed, that might be too much to overcome, but... For a three-card hand, Phil's got to feel like this is about as good as it's going to get. There's Haven of the Spirit Dragon. And it looks like Horn does have a copy of Ashcloud Phoenix to start putting on the pressure, potentially. He'll start by attacking for one, Phil, predictably with no blocks. Yep. you got to really be feeling it to block there. I don't think the guy on three cards can trade. That's just kind of a rule. One man's opinion. <laughs> All right. Pelucridos. Last card is Whisperwood. I mean, Ashcloud Phoenix is, is big time trouble, but. Horn will draw a copy of Elvish Mystic. You can see his hand right now. Elvish Mystic, Roast, and a Rugged Highlands. Yeah, this Pelucranos necessitates the roast. And then at that point, Simon's got nothing really left over. Yeah. Ashcloud Phoenix is a big problem for Phil here. His deck's vulnerable to flying, but, uh, you know, Phil's drawing very live. So there's roast. That'll take care of Pelucranos. I think we'll see an attack here for five in just a moment, and we will. So Sam's going to go down to 14. We'll see if Horn wants to deploy the other mana creature in his hand. It looks like he does. An Elvish Mystic, and he will not play the Rugged Highlands, just pass the turn back. Sam's will draw a card, really hoping for a land. Doesn't look like he found one, though this, this can be helpful and Master of the Unseen. He's not going to have a ton of time to work with, but this could be helpful. Horn will draw. Yeah, the big issue here is just the two points of damage now that come across as a result, because he can't trade the Elvis Mystics. Yeah. If he was able to play Whispered Elemental, not only would he have a bigger body in play, but Steven would be relegated to only attacking in the air. And not playing the Rugged Highlands comes back to bite Horn a little bit this turn, as his draw, his draw this turn was Stormbreath Dragon. Yep. He's so, out of point of damage as a result. Yeah. Probably doesn't matter here because Stormbreath Dragon is such a huge draw. It, it's eight in the air with Phil at 16, so that just might be too much to overcome. But you are correct. <laughs> so there's Stormbreath. And now here are the attackers. Sam's will take a draw. It'll probably be his last one of the game. Can't imagine he has the answers to the Flyers, and he does not. Phil Sam's going to win this match over, or excuse me, Stephen Horn going to win this match over Phil Sam's. Two games to one. The Red Green Aggro will take care of Green White Devotion. Sam's not able to overcome the mulligan to three. Although, uh, you know, he's not that far away. If he draws a fifth land untapped there instead of his copy of uh, A Mastery of the Unseen. No. 